All right, during his recent trip to Alaska, President Obama called for more Coast Guard ocean-going icebreakers. One American News, Neil McCabe, spoke to the head of the Coast Guard's icebreaking fleet about the mission. Coast Guard has deployed to polar waters since the 1860s. But for the last two decades, its polar icebreaking fleet has dwindled. I spoke to Gary Rassicott, a retired Coast Guard officer and the man directing the Coast Guard's polar icebreaking program about the program and the president's call for more icebreakers. I think it's important to understand why the Arctic and, and why now, and, and it's really driven by the increase in human activity up there. We really see that human activity in four ways. We see it in a little more fishing, we see it in ecotourism, we certainly see it in more shipping, and there's more energy exploration. One of the things that uh, I'm announcing today is uh, a proposal to accelerate the construction of at least one additional heavy icebreaker and to work with Congress uh, to make sure that we are uh, producing a sufficient fleet. The Coast Guard has two polar-capable icebreakers, Cutter Polar Star and Cutter Healy, which is now deployed to the Arctic Circle. One American News spoke to Healy's captain by satellite link. Currently, we are almost 60, 65 nautical miles from the North Pole. The entire ocean space around us is ice, and as far as thickness goes, I'd say it's up to about 6 feet thick, with ridging is up to over 10 feet thick. Obviously, we're buoyed by the fact that the White House is interested and supportive of our mission. We're proud to be up here demonstrating that the United States is an Arctic nation and that we, Coast Guard Cutter Healy, are capable of providing access throughout the Arctic. Capitol Hill Republicans have long called for expanding America's polar icebreaking capabilities. Now as the race for Arctic resources begins, the president has joined the fight in this new Cold War. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, Washington.